Aim of the experiment is to determine thermal conductivity of a bad conductor in a form of disc by Lee's method. And the apparatus are this whole setup is Lee's apparatus. We have two discs here. In this disc, we have inlet for a stream, inside it is hollow, and here is outlet for steam. And the steam is used to rise the heat this disc. And then next, in this disc, we have here small hollow where we where we have to put thermometer. And next, we have two thermometers sample stopwatch this is screw guards and vernier calipers to measure the thickness of the sample and diameter of the sample this is uh, weight balance and this hot plate along with the container next is working formula we have K. This K is thermal conductivity, and this experiment is to measure this value of K. K equals to mx dt by dt into s divided by a t2 minus t1. This m is a mass of a disc. This one is m. Mass of this one is m, and x. X is a thickness of sample. This this thickness of sample. DT by DT is change in temp temperature per unit time, which we find through graph. And S is specific heat of the sample. Here this is a bad conductor means sample and specific heat of this sample is this one S which is given and A this area is cross-sectional area of a sample perpendicular to the flow of it this is area and heat will flow perpendicular to this surface so this is A and T2 minus T1 is we have this sample and temperature of this surface and their temperature of uh, we have different temperature in these two surfaces here and here suppose this is T2 and here we have T1 and T2 is in high temperature than T1 we the heat will flow from this surface to this surface. So this is T2 minus T1. Temperature of this surface and temperature of this surface. Now first, measure the weight of this disc. First measure the mass of this disc. It is it twenty five gram.
measure the thickness of the sample and then diameter of this sample For now, I'll just show the steps that I will provide at the end of the video, at the end of the experiment. And after measuring thickness, diameter, and the width, we have to boil the water. First boil the water and connect this We have to keep sample between these two dicks. First, these dicks will lead by the steam coming from this tube, and after this one, then it will pass from this to this sample and it will hit this lower decks before putting this thermometer see the room temperature of both the thermometer If you find any difference between this temperature reading, we have to write here room temperature is room temperature for this let's say this T2 is 28 and room temperature for room temperature for this thermometer T1 is also 20. It. So there is no error in this reading of these two thermometer. We have theta correction or error equals to t2 minus t1 equals to 0. If there was uh, some error then later we have to add, uh, we have to add or subtract this error to make our reading correct. Now place this thermometer in this this dix, upper dix and this lower dix. And wait for 
first it will this dix will keep temperature of this dix will keep on increasing similarly this lower dix also temperature also keeps increasing after a certain time there will be a first temperature of both dicks will rise and after a certain time there will be a steady state there will be steady temperature of this both the dicks we have to wait until that steady state will attain after t1 and t2 will stop increasing note that temperature here steady temperature of c this is c and temperature of dx b this upper one note the te temperature and From this two, we have for this B we have temperature T2 and here it is T1. Now calculate the difference T2 minus T1 and this is error. Don't confuse this theta with this T2 minus T1 with this theta. This is when temperature was in room temperature. And this is when temperature is in steady state. And here in working formula, this one is when temperature is in steady state. After that, Take out this sample and heat directly. Heat this dix lower dix directly so that it will increase up to a uh, seven degrees Celsius. Up to means suppose it was uh, 60 earlier now heat till 67 and after that After that, in this table we have time and temperature. Immediately after putting this out, here at t equals to zero, note down the temperature. After interval of 30 seconds, we have to note down temperature of these dicks. And take this reading for uh, 3 minutes. 
from this table draw a graph and graph will be like this this temperature versus sorry this is temperature versus time and from this curve it will be like this curve will be like this and from this curve draw a tangent and find delta t this is delta t small t and value of delta t capital T from this we can find the this one dt by dt now we have now from the graph we find dt by dt and this is given this x we have already measured this mass also we have already measured we have find t2 minus t1 and this is area we have diameter so we can calculate the area now we can find the value of this thermal conductivity now i will show you the data this is the reading you can take in screenshot first this table one and then this is for thickness And this table 3 is time temperature, time versus temperature regarding. And here you see it is in the steady temperature we have 87 degrees Celsius for this Dix C. But and I have told you to again eat but no need to eat you can directly do from this actually due to some time taken while so this is due to khasma ji agari gari thiyo but record garni time ma chai yo cell le ra goira 86 dekhi nai bhaiyo so we can take from 86 Whatever no, you can take a screenshot from this table. Draw a graph, temperature versus time. From that graph, we can find dt by dt. And one more thing is this. In room temperature, we have measured this twenty nine in one thermometer and 28 in another thermometer so there is some difference in thermometer reading from the start so that is the error of the thermometer so if we have this t dash t dash here is maximum means greater than t1 so this T double dash minus T1 is 1.5 degrees Celsius and if this T double dash is T2 here again we have T2 minus T1 so this 1.5 we have to subtract from this this reading but in our experiment it was like this this T dash is a temp T1 T double dash was T1 so we add this error 